Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you my top Modern Warfare 2 classes. Um, they're not in any particular order, but yeah, so there's some that you're going to have to be a pretty high level to use them. Um, Alright, let's get started. Alright, so my top of rifle class is the M16 with red dot and silencer uh, as my sec as your secondary. You can use any shotgun, uh, you know, any one, the best, whichever one you like the most. Probably the models are the best, but I don't know. If you're not that high of a level, you can use like the M1014, the Striker. All right, and my perk one, Bling Pro, obviously. Because then that way you get the Red Dawn Silencer. You don't really run out of ammo too much, so you don't need Scavenger. Marathon, yeah, pretty much useless on a regular game. And perk 2, uh, Stopping Power Pro. That gives the M16 that one burst kill, usually. And then perk 3, you get Steady Aim Pro. It makes it easier to hit fire with the shotgun. And also the M16, because that could be really good for hit firing if you're really good at that. And for equipment, um, the Semtex is probably the best. It's like a frag grenade, but it could stick. Uh, the Semtex grenade, yeah, blows up faster. So you can't really throw it as far as you can throw a frag grenade. And as the special grenade, well, that doesn't really matter. But I like to use the flashbang because you get you're in a crowded room. Just throw a flashbang and yeah, you pretty much kick their asses. All right, so this is my top sniper class. Uh, as primary, I like to use the intervention because it's bolt action. I don't know why, but I prefer the bolt action. It just makes them seem a lot more powerful and accurate. This one actually is very powerful and accurate. It's got the same strength as the 50 caliber, but yeah, more accuracy. The silencer takes away some accuracy, but I don't know, it doesn't really matter that much to me. And the thermal, it just makes it a lot easier to find targets, especially on un um, overpass, underpass, whatever the fuck that's called. That freaking grassy map, whatever the fuck it is. And yeah, it just makes it easier to find people. Secondary, I like the PP2000. Uh, unless you have the models, that's really good with snipers, but if you don't, which most people don't, uh, PV2000 is the best. Some machine guns are good with sniper classes. You get a little bit more closer range. Yeah, and PV2000 is really strong. I also like to put the silencer on the PV2000, because if you're a stationary sniper, like to just camp somewhere and then snipe the enemies from there, the silencer is good because you won't pick up on the radar. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't really lower the accuracy that much. You're not really going to be shooting long range with it. Because obviously you had the sniper, so it doesn't matter. First perk, I like Blink Pro. You don't really run out of ammo, so you don't need Scavenger. Unless you have, like, really shitty aim. But yeah. So Blink Pro lets you use the silencer and thermal, red dot and silencer. Uh, perk 2, Stabbing Power Pro. Always use Stabbing Power with snipers. Or you're going to get a lot of hit markers, and you're pretty much going to get... Pretty fucking pissed off. Uh, equipment, Semtex again, same reason as last one. Good uh, for sticking enemies and not as much range, but blow up faster. Special, I like to use a smoke because if you throw that smoke grenade at your enemy, they're not going to be able to see. And you still got the thermal, so you can snipe them fairly easily. Unless they whole ass out of that smoke, but. They're probably not going to do that. They're going to think they're hidden in that smoke. They're going to stay in it. And you're going to snipe them. So. Uh, as far as the other snipers go. Uh, the 50 caliber is really good too. I don't know. I just don't really like the semi-automatic too much. The WA2000. I've gone, to, I've gone to level 70. I haven't prestiged it. And I've never used that sniper to be honest. I really don't know anything about it. Uh, you guys can put something in the comments about it. About your top classes and stuff but yeah I've never really tried that uh, the M21 that one's really good and yeah it's pretty much all the snipers um, then there's the last class I like the close one a speed class uh, primary scar with silencer it's strong you don't have to be a high level to use it if you got the AK use that with the silencer and yeah so this class you basically run around with I don't know I like to use a magnum with a tactical knife you can use any pistol you want but I think magnum is the best and or you can even use a shotgun silencers are probably the best but it really reduces the range on them 
like the M1014, that one's good with the silencer. So you put Perk 1, you put Marathon Pro. If you don't have Marathon Pro, it doesn't matter. Just put regular Marathon on. Lightweight Pro, you don't need the Pro either, just put Lightweight on. And that makes you go really, really fast. Then Commando Pro, obviously if you get a knife. You don't really need it for the shotguns though, that you could just put Steady Aim on. Um, equipment, use a Semtex and Flashbang, just like most of the classes that I use. And there is also this thing uh, you can do with a care package. Uh, this is good if you're knifing. Uh, you can't really call it a glitch, but well, anyway, what you do is you get a care package as a kill streak. When you hold the grenade that calls in the care package, you literally don't throw it, just hold it. And you will run at least twice as fast. It is really, really good for knifing. You run so fast that unless they have a really high sensitivity, they're not going to be able to catch up when they're looking down their sights. Um, yeah, this is actually really good because most then most people won't see you or they won't be able to shoot you in time, especially snipers. So that's a good that's a good thing to use with this class. Um, I don't really know if there's any other gun except for the scar and the AK that you could use for this because you need like a really really powerful gun. So I don't know. You could put in the comment box any other gun you could use or whatever. But yeah, it's pretty much the end of this class. Alright, thanks for watching this video on my top Modern Warfare 2 classes. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. In the comment box, you could add uh, whatever your top classes, top classes, favorite guns, anything you like about the multiplayer in this game. Kill streaks, I don't know, anything you like. And yeah, so I like to try new things out in this game a lot. New guns, attachments, kill streaks. So I'll try them out and I'll see if they're any good. Uh, please rate this video and subscribe. I'll probably have some more videos like this on like kill streaks or I don't know, maybe some strategies you can use on live. But yeah, so thanks for watching this video.